Alright, so I apologize that it's so noisy. You'll understand why here in a second. Check out my view. It's nice. Beautiful day out here on the Columbia River. Some wake surfing. And guess who's driving the boat? He said he didn't want to come out here. He freaked out. He started yelling at me. Yelling at Jamie. Didn't want to go out in the boat. Now look at him. Happy camper. <laughs> All right, so some people asked me, uh, I put that YouTube short out about you driving the boat and people wanted to know, because remember I said that you kind of blew up and got mad? Mm -hmm. People want to know the backstory. Okay, so we're gonna have another conversation on autism. This time we're gonna kind of break down something that happened in our home over the last 24 hours um, and kind of explain how we handle it. So, <clears throat> yesterday or maybe even the day before, Max knew that we were gonna go out in the boat. And I don't know, starting two days ago, you started asking a lot of questions. And when you start asking questions over and over about the boat, or about flying, or about the weather, or whatever. That means to me that there's some anxiety there. Do you feel like um, you ask a lot of questions when you're anxious or scared about something? Uh, yeah. Yeah. So I did not engage really in those questions. I kind of ignored them because I knew that if I would have answered the way I was going to answer it, you would have gotten upset with me. So I just didn't answer you. And right, wrong, or indifferent, that is what happens when I know what the outcome is going to be. So if I would have told you um, two days ago, yes, we're going out in the boat, definitely happening, you probably would have gotten pretty mad then, wouldn't you? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what happened is Max found out this morning that we were gonna go out in the boat. And would you say on a scale of one to 10, uh, Max, what that blow up was? Probably 10. <laughs> Thank you for saying that because- I cussed about the boat. I, yeah. called the, I called the boat the S word mixed with the hole in there. Okay. <laughs> but I said sorry to Jesus for sure. <laughs> I love you, man. <laughs> Me too. Uh, so I was, our shop where we keep the boat is not even attached to our house. It's across the courtyard and yeah. I was out getting the boat ready and I could hear Max yelling at Jamie. And I walked in the house and I looked at you. Do you remember what I said? What? I said, Listen, I'm gonna give you one good cry and one good freak out, and then you're done. After you're done with the one cry and, and blow up, you're gonna settle down and we're gonna, we're gonna do this. Okay. And I let you, I let you freak out, I let you scream, I let you have a good cry, remember? Mm-hmm. And then I said, we're done. After that, we're done. Mm -hmm. So, when you got done, screaming and freaking out, you totally mellowed back down, mellowed out, and you went out and helped us get everything ready, and there was not another sign of complaining or anxiety or anything. You did great. Mm -hmm. So when we got to the river, Max said, hey, can I drive? So Max drove. Max drove almost, almost the whole day. Time. Yeah, you took me wake surfing you took M macy wake surfing did you drive mom or did i i think i, I might have drove mom but you spent a lot of time behind the wheel you were happy as can be so max what do you think got you so worked up before that we left because i did not want to go on the boat why didn't you want to go out on the boat you love the boat because i was looking at the forecast and it was looking that's gonna be pretty breezy and vantage Okay, so you... So it's gonna be windy here and then it's gonna be windy there. You did, and so you don't wanna be out in the boat when it's windy. Is it cause that one time we got stuck in that windstorm? 
Yes. Okay. And then I regret it. What else? Uh, what else made you nervous? Uh. Is there? You said something about going too fast. Mm-hmm. What was that all about? Uh, I don't like going very fast. I know, not, but not above thir or 25. You don't want to go above 25. So you thought that we were going to go above 25, and so you freaked we out? We went 25 at the end, and I was like, mm. Okay. But we didn't go 25 until the very end. In fact, you were driving, and when we wake surf, we only wake surf at about 10 miles an hour. So, like, for hours out there, we didn't go above 10 miles an hour. You, so only, went, you, you only went, like, 24 at the end, though. Okay. I think. Wait a minute. Were you looking at the speedometer or were you? Yeah, I was. Oh, okay. So would it have been better if you would have just talked to mom or talked to me and told us what you were scared about? You mm -hmm. were scared about the wind and you were scared about going over 25 miles an hour. Would that have been easier for you than to freak out? Probably. Yeah, we're learning. As you've gotten older, I've seen you, instead of freak out, you, you've, I've, I've fit, watched you physically control your anxiety and stop and talk to mom and me. And, and I, I love that. I love that you're growing and I love that your ability to do that is growing. Today <laughs> kind of backfired, didn't it? <laughs> yeah. Next time. We'll work on it together. When you're gonna have a big explosion, let's stop. Let's let's figure out what is bothering you and let's talk about it instead. Because if you were scared that we were gonna go more than 25, we didn't have plans to go fast at all. And it would have been really easy to just talk about it. Instead, you're, you know, your heart and your head got all worked up. My and, heart started beating fast. Yeah. So next time, can we try to uh, talk things over first? Mm -hmm. When we got out in the boat, you started driving. You were happy as a clam. You were uh, just fine. Didn't make us peep. We just you just kind of did your thing, and we hung out, and it was really fun. Mm -hmm. And you know what was else was really cool about it, dude. Last year during COVID, you studied and you got your boater's safety card. And now you're totally legal. You can actually drive the boat legally. That's pretty cool. And you did a fantastic job. Thanks. I'm proud of you. Thanks. You're welcome. Mm. You got anything else to say? Uh, not much. Don't. Not much. Okay. We'll see you on the next one. Bye.